Hello, welcome to this video on uh, the Walking Talking Mock looking at comparisons uh, and atomic structure. Um, we're looking at question five. Uh, it's a compare question, so remember our cub strategy, circle, underline, bullet. Compare the atomic structure of diamond and graphite. And here we've got a diagram uh, showing two sets of atomic structures. Uh, and in case you're not sure, this may well be labelled, may well be labelled, but might not be. That one's graph, that one's diamond, and this one's graphite over here. It's worth three marks. Okay, so the first thing we do is we draw our bullet points: one, two, three. Okay, so what can we say about each of those um, structures? So what do we know? Well, we know that diamond has no layers. Okay, but we need to make this comparison. Graphite has layers. Uh, what else can we see? Well, we can see that uh, atoms in diamond uh, are connected to more atoms than ones in carbon. Okay, so if we look here at the diagram, uh, it looks like the atoms inside here connected to one, two, three, four different atoms here, uh, whereas in graphite it looks like they're only connected to three at maximum, so, so it looks like we've more connections here. Um, we could say here this is connected in three dimensions, whereas this one's only in two, uh, although that looks very similar to the, the layers and no layers. Um, to get, uh, yeah, here it's quite tricky, I suppose, um, just looking at the diagram, to come up with a third, and the last comparison is always going to be the most difficult one to get. The examiner, it's its kind of like a game, the examiner is hoping that you will not use bullet points and therefore you'll just write two things that come to mind and because the third's a bit difficult you'll just move on and you'll only score two out of three. By writing the bullet points it forces you to remember, okay I need to write one more thing. Uh, so the thing I'm going to write here is I know that diamonds and graphite, I know that they're both made of, they're called allotropes of carbon they're both forms of carbon uh, bonded in slightly different ways. So, so both are made of carbon, carbon atoms bonded. So they're both forms of carbon. And in terms of the, the atomic structure, that's a valid thing to say. Uh, you've used some of your own knowledge there, which you're allowed to do in, in comparison questions as well, uh, unless the question says use the information given to you. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, that would definitely get three marks there in the, uh, the exam question. Okay, hope that was helpful.